Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? It's Jacob Oxnam here. Today we're doing another character showcase for LEGO DC Supervillains. In, if you remember in the last video, we showcased the character known as Red Hood, and in this video, we are going to be doing another 10 minute character showcase, but this time with... Yup, you guessed it, like you read the title, we're going to be showcasing Deathstroke. He is the 40... Deathstroke is, char is character number 44 in LEGO DC Supervillains, and I believe you get him for free at some point during the main story campaign. So if you at all enjoy this video, then do give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on all notifications so you cannot miss anything new that I upload. If you don't know, this is a good way to helping me reach 100 subscribers and my schedule is Monday to Friday exactly 3pm British time. So anyway, let's just review Deathstroke's biography. So here are his core abilities. Goon Command. Press B when near henchmen to recruit them. Detective mode. Press B when near detective areas to reveal hidden Lego objects. Beam deflect. Press B while standing on beam deflect pads to redirect incoming laser beams. Acrobat. Press A to scale red and white Lego walls. Character can also swing from 12 poles and has enhanced jumping, just like Red Hood. <clears throat> Projectile Rebound. Press B when standing on a rebound pad to be able to target special rebound points. F photo Mode. Uh, that's just left bumper. So you can take selfies. Illumination. Light up dark areas by approaching them to reveal hidden objects. Grapple. Press B while standing near orange Lego grapple hooks to pull on them. Tracking. Press B to begin following trails to hidden items. Technology. Press B to interact with technology panels. Stealth. Press B when in range of security cameras to hide from them. And that's all his core abilities. So now let's get into his main biography. So Deathstroke's real name is Slade Wilson. And his affiliations include the Injustice League and the League of Shadows. And here's his profile now. With his years of extensive training and experimental genetic enhancements, Slade Wilson is a highly valuable agent for hire, a master of combat. Deathstroke is a ruthless ad advisory for... Of, of heroes everywhere with his considerable battle only matched by his keen tactical mind. And his first comic appearance was the New Teen Titans issue 2 which was released in 1980. Like published in 1980, yeah. And now let's showcase his abilities. So basically... When, so basically for his ranged attack, he can shoot with his assault rifle. I don't know if that's just a real rifle. And there you go. And he can also fire aim. And automatically shoot at stuff. If you don't, if you guys don't know, although I've mentioned this before. In LEGO DC Super Villains, when you enter fire aim and lock onto an object, you will automatically shoot it. Alright, so you don't so you can keep it held down to shoot it. I wonder if they'll do something like that in Lego DC Super Villains. Oh wait, they're using the triggers, I just realized that. I meant Lego Styles of Skull Saga, they're using triggers. Yeah. And he could also use detective mode, like I mentioned in the core abilities, if you, if you press B. I thought he could throw a grenade. And when you hold down the B button, he can use destroy mode. <laughs> where he does a little spin jitsu thing. And yup, he can also double jump. L Yo, look at this really cool sword slide he has. There we go. And let's see his dodge attack. And yup, his evasive maneuver actually allows him to shoot as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
And yeah, like you guessed all, he can do a basic melee attack with his katanas. But it's mainly just a ranged attack with his assault rifle. And yeah, Death Deathstroke is one of my favourite characters. Ever since I became a big DC fan, I had a I had a problem deciding who my favourite character was. I mean, you don't have to have a favourite character, but it is always a cool, cool idea if you have one. Yeah. But yeah. So let's go and see what he can do now. Oh wait, I already, I already showcased his abilities. There are just 10 minutes of me interviewing him. Like 10 minute interviews, you know what that is. So a 10 minute interview is basic. So my, so how I see it, a 10 minute interview is basically where I showcase a character in LEGO DC Super Villains for 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes at a time. Let's test out his skills, why not? Let's just get the highest wanted rank. Well, what do we have here? Some amateurs that want to test me? And me too, don't forget. Let's just destroy that car real quick. So that more police can come. Yup. So that more police officers can come to where we are. Most people couldn't pull that look off, but uh, you're lucky. There we go, we've reached the highest wanted rank. Now loads of police officers are gonna be coming our way. Let's use him in hand-to-hand -hand combat! Oh, that's what I should have done with Red Hood, shouldn't I? Yo! I remember doing that. Wait, let's see if I can use my destroy mode on this police weapon. Hey, I need to do... I'm doing a video here. I'm doing a showcase, stupid police officer. There we go. That, so that basically counts as an explosion. Okay. There we go, just a strat. Wait, is he actually invincibility? Oh, no. But he does have a regenerator ability. I forgot to mention that Deathstroke does have a regeneration ability. Whoa! That's so cool, I'm not gonna lie. There we go, just destroy these SWAT troopers real quick. Oh yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, the gameplay mechanics in LEGO Souls of Skulk Saga are going to be very similar to this. I know a lot of you might be like, Why is he talking about LEGO Souls of Skulk? Why is he... And a lot of you might be like, Why is he talking about LEGO Star Wars? <coughs> That's because LEGO Souls is releasing in less than two weeks, I guess. And yeah, let's just take a quick selfie with him. And there we go. And yeah, so the, we might so we might have reached the 10 minute mark, so let's just end the video here. With one minute left. So yeah. If you are to so I'm going to end this 10 minute character showcase here. If you at all enjoyed this video then do give it a big fat like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on all notifications so you cannot miss anything new that I upload. And so that I can still do 10 more character showcases before the week of Skulker Saga. If you don't know, this is a good way to helping me reach 100 subscribers and my schedule is Monday to Friday exactly 3pm British time. So, without further ado, I shall see you in the next video. I believe we'll be showcasing another character for LEGO DC Supervillains.
Goodbye!